So the purpose of this video is to show how to create simple specifiers within Promax. In our simulation here, we have an MDEA sweetening unit with our sour feed coming into our contactor at the bottom, and of course our amine coming into the contactor up top uh, to produce here our sweet gas feed that we want. Now a common rule of thumb around contactors in an amine unit is to say that we want our amine coming into the contactor to be about 10 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the gas feed that we have coming in. So we can see in this simulation we're at 100 degrees for our gas feed right now, and our lean amine has been set to be 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a very common rule of thumb. So we use it because we don't want the amine stream to cool down our gas feed. This could result in some of the hydrocarbons condensing out and being lost here in the mean stream instead of coming out of our sweet gas like we like. And so we want to keep that amine stream a little bit warmer. Uh, right now in this simulation, to do that, I just came in here to stream number 12, and I've typed in this temperature of 110 degrees. But what I would like to have happen is I would like Promax to calculate the temperature here for me depending on my gas feed temperature. Because right now, if I change my gas feed temperature, say this dropped to be 90 degrees, and so then I wanted my amine to come in at 100 degrees, I'd have to go in and manually change that. And that's going to be a hassle if my gas feed temperature keeps changing. If my gas feed then went back up to 110 degrees, I'd have to come in here and manually change that to 120 degrees. And I don't really want to do that. I would rather have the computer with all its power. I'd like to have it do that for me. And Promax certainly can. And that's what these specifiers that I'll show you now, that's what they are able to do. They're able to calculate one variable that's dependent on another variable. Like in this situation, our lean amine temperature is dependent on our gas stream temperature. So to make this specifier, I just come into stream number 12 here. And where I had manually typed in 110 degrees, I'm going to right click and choose to create simple specifier. And this will bring up this specifier window. And this is where I can create basically an equation that will control this amine temperature. So up here in the name, I'm going to call this my amine T specifier. It's specifying the amine temperature into my contactor. And now in this box here is where we'll write out the equation that is governing this temperature. And so this temperature is being controlled by the equation that it is going to equal our gas temperature plus 10 degrees. And so I write that equation here in my box. Now I've created this little variable called gas T to represent my gas temperature coming in and my sour feed. Next thing I need to do here below is I need to go tell Promax what this variable is. And so to do that, I come over to this Add button here. And that will bring up this window, which is our moniker tree, which will allow me to go find that property. And so I'm going to open that up, look inside my flow sheets, and I only have one page here, my MDEA page. And I'm looking for one of my process streams, which is my sour feed stream. And I want to find its temperature. So I'm going to look inside its phases and go to the total phase and look inside its properties. And from there, I can see one of its properties here is temperature. Now you can open up temperature and you'll see the value and the units and things. I want to grab the value plus the units. So I'm going to just select the property name, which is temperature. And you'll know that you've selected something viable when you see this box fill up with these words, which is the moniker or the address for this variable in Promax. Once we have the variable we want, we need to give it a name. And we want to make this name match the name up here in our equation. So I'm going to call this, if I can type, gas T, and click Add. And so I have this variable that is being used in my equation here. Now when we give these variable names, a couple things to remember is that they are case sensitive. And so any uppercase letters found here below also need to be uppercase here. And the variable names also cannot include spaces. And so if you try to include a space in the name down here, it will actually put an underscore in the name. And so you'll see that's why I've 
smashed my name together here, but it's important to make sure that the names line up in both these spots. If they don't line up, so for instance, if this was a little t instead of my capital T that I have here below, we'll encourage you to always use this check error button to make sure that your equation makes sense. And when I click this button, we'll see this error that comes up that says gas T is undefined in this equation. And we can look and say, okay, that's undefined because it doesn't match my name down here. And so if I will capitalize this T again, now when I click check error, we'll see that there is no syntax error. And so Promax recognizes and accepts the equation that we've written. And you often see right here above as well the specified value, which is our new calculated value according to this equation. So it's showing that my gas temperature plus 10 degrees is taking this 100 degrees, which is in Fahrenheit, and it's adding it up to 110 degrees here. Now it's also important in this window that we select the units to go with this value. So this is a mathematical equation here that is unitless. And so it's going to add up to 110, and then we need to tell it what units this value has. And so this is 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and so I leave this as Fahrenheit. If I change it to be Celsius, it would then think that it was meant to be 110 degrees Celsius, and so I need to make sure that I choose the right units here, which I will leave as Fahrenheit. So what's going to happen now if I come back and execute my project? Now if I open up number stream number 12, we'll see this little blue box here. And this blue box represents that we have a calculator that's calculating this temperature. So in our case, we have a specifier that is controlling this temperature. If I want to get back to that temperature, or excuse me, that specifier window, I can right click and find show calculator here. And that will take me back to this window. And we can see now that this temperature is being controlled according to our gas temperature. To illustrate this, if I come in here and change my sour feed temperature, if I change this to now be 90 degrees, and click Enter, we would expect now that our amine would come in at 100 degrees. So if I execute the project and open up stream 12, we'll see that our temperature has adjusted, and it is now 100, 100 degrees for us. And so specifiers are very useful. It keeps us from having to manually update this number. It also means that I don't have to remember to manually update it. It's just going to update itself. And so these are used all the time. And hopefully this video has been helpful to show that for you, a helpful reminder for you to how to create these specifiers. If you have any additional questions for us, feel free to give us a call here at the office. Our phone number is 979. 776-5220, or you can send us an email at support at bre.com. So thank you for watching this video. Again, I hope it was very helpful for you here today, and you all have a nice day.